First interview, so y'all, you know, just, just take your time. Oh my God, you look comfortable. Uh, uh, you sure? Uh, I feel so nervous right now. Well, I should keep just kind of looking back, looking back on that young guy that got to UCF. What, 2013? You were just looking for an opportunity. It wouldn't come for a few years later, but just to be here right now, just a lot of emotions I'm sure going through your mind. What does it mean to be part of the UCF Hall of Fame, knowing you made such a big impact on this program? I mean, honestly, I'm still trying to really put it in words and real. I'm trying to still find out what it is because, you know, in so many ways, I, I was told I wasn't supposed to be here. And, you know, I would never even thought Hall of Fame when I was playing football. So to be able to be in this moment, to have this this honor, I mean, obviously, it's the biggest one I ever had. And it's like, it's still, I'm still trying to take it all in. And I was saying, like, I didn't know. I was. When I was surprised, I was really surprised for a reason, like because I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> me?" And you know me, I'm I'm a person like if y'all see me play, if y'all see how I am, like, I'm big on team, I'm big on the people around me. I'm a grateful person, so to be able to have this honor, I'm grateful. But it's really because of the people around me, the people who love watching me play, my teammates who enjoyed playing with me and giving everything they had for what truly things that I wanted and we used to have those conversations for those of you who know I slept inside the facility I used to have conversations with teammates four in the morning about things we wanted I was like man I, I want to go to the league with my brother I want to get there and, you know a lot of guys wanted to become and have a spectacular season but it's like what is it going to take we got to buy in and it's just like them guys knew what I wanted so badly I didn't want to be the guy who had one good season I want to be a guy who played with his teammates and did something extraordinary so no matter how hard it was, I knew my guys was like, they gonna give everything they had. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep going right now because I gotta <laughs> finish this story. It's like, <laughs> but I remember it was was going against Memphis, and I remember it was a play that happened at McKenzie. It didn't go the way he liked. He came off the sideline. He was kind of getting upset, and I remember going to him. I was like, bro, hey, remember what we what we've been doing this whole year? It's like, how about this? You get some water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too comfortable. We're going to get the ball back, and then you're going to do what you do best. And then his smile just, it just went up, and I was just like, that was the team. It doesn't matter how hard it was. Like, we're going to figure this out. And let's enjoy all you're doing. Plays, like, when we played against SMU, same thing. Like, we dance on the field. It's because we're not worrying about it. We're going to protect every single blade of grass because I know how important it is to me and for you. So we're going to make it happen. You talked, you talked about when you found out up on that stage in front of everybody. How are the emotions then compared to now? Is it still kind of the, the same? Has it changed a little bit? I mean, obviously it changed because I know, but when people are like, hey, Hall of Famer, who me? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, when I say I'm still getting used to it, it's that because like it is happening fast. Like I'm, we have a ceremony today. <laughs> you know, so when, you, when you're thinking about trying to take it in and embrace it, and I, I'm a person where it's like, you know, I wasn't a person who just, talked about the accolades. I'm not a person walking around, you see, up like, y'all know I was all American, right? <laughs> I, I was never that person. So to have this accolades, like, it, it was, of course I need to accept this. Like, I, I should be crying right now. Like, I, my, I was really teary eyed. Like, I had to squeeze my nose, like, not right now. I gotta save this. <laughs> but it just goes to show, like, I'm a person who I never really jumped out and talked about how important accolades was. But for this one, it hit. It hit my heart like it, it hit so differently whereas it's like it made me be confused with how I want to have my emotions but I know when I get up there and receive it and everything is in the air it's it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a water park for sure team <laughs> hall of fame rules dictate that seven years is the minimum number of years before an athlete is eligible for nomination you are, so I like to call it the first ballot hall of famer what does it mean to you to be a first to get inducted at the first possible chance and also to be the first among your 2017 team to go into this hall of fame talking about a unanimous decision <laughs> uh, <laughs> still confused <laughs> because I'm still taking it in I'm sorry but what I was told the story about how it happened, and it's like people knew for weeks. And I, I talked to a lot of people at UCF, so they be able to hold back that I was in the Hall of Fame. And I gotta say, Manny almost slipped up, but he did a good job not. Because he was like, you know, after seven years, and then he stopped, and I was like, seven years what? Like, what seven years? No, 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 you coming to the luncheon. <laughs> <laughs> So Manny almost spoiled it for you? <laughs> yes. No, you got to stay. The relationship that I have with Manny is he's seen me come my freshman year. He's seen yeah. me go through so many things. Like, he used to come in comfort 
you know, me and my brother in so many ways, like, I, we was going through stuff. It, 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 we, we was a different time in the beginning, the first few years that I got into college, like, things that was demeaning that was happening. Manny would always be there. It was big in football with Manny. I would be in the car with Manny, he'd be showing me properties, he'd be teaching me stuff. I was like, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> And he had twin boys, and then he looked at me and my brothers as if we was his. So, yes, it's different. So when he, him holding it in, it's harder than probably everybody. <laughs> They're like, that's, that was my sons. I got to hold back. <laughs> so I, I, I can imagine how hard it was. So when it came out, it was just like, I did a good job. I did a really good job. Okay, nobody didn't slip up. And it made the moment that much better. I know there's a lot of memories that you're probably thinking back of looking at your career, but what stands out when you're thinking about, you know, your years at UCF, the big games, the big performances, what are your favorite memories? The big performances, does it have to be a performance? I, hey, we can do whatever you want. I feel like the, the, the biggest memories was the moments that we had as a team where the coaches wasn't in there. We'll, we'll have round tables where it's like something something's off about you. You're not yourself. And now you got the whole team like, <laughs> you're not yourself. And there's moments where you you grew as a person, you grew as a man, you know? And it's just like, we, we wasn't little kids no more. It's just like, we're understanding like, yeah, we go through stuff, guys. <laughs> Big whoop, you too, you, you, you. And it's just like, if you're not yourself, that means you ain't your best right now. What's up? And it's like sleeping in, that, sleeping in that facility for so long and being able to have guys come in, it, it was starting to make sense on how we can support each other. Like, no matter how hard it looks, I get it. Like, McKenzie, being far from home. You know what I mean? People probably far from home and, and going through stuff, like, you ain't the only one. You got so many people who come from a, dem a, a different demographic, whereas it's like they don't like the environment, so I'm not going to go back to that. I want to rechange my environment, and I need this. I felt that. So how can I help you get there? And we used to have those moments like that inside that locker room where we had to remind each other why we even doing this. Why do we choose to go put our body on the line? Why do we choose to go make that play? Why we choose, like, I'm going to just, if it's, instead of being nervous to make this play, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to take my shot because my boys need it. And we was able to figure it out in the inner circle, in the locker room, in everything, and then we brought it to the field, and then we showed the world what we can do. Shaquem, how proud are you to have used your story to motivate and continue to inspire people? How proud am I of myself? <laughs> of how I'm able to motivate just, people? Yeah, just how proud of, is that to inspire and continue to inspire people of all ages? I mean, I didn't, I didn't know I was going to become that. No idea. I, know, I didn't know I was going to inspire people. I didn't know I was going to be motivational. I'm a motivational speaker now, but <laughs> honestly, I tell people I'm just a reminder, honestly. You think you ain't been through something before? Everybody has. I'm just reminding you to keep going, to keep overcoming, to not settle, to don't, don't settle with what you don't want. Just a reminder. But that, people need that. Exactly that. Exactly that, but that's why we became the team that we became because I was reminding people. When I go speak before every game about it's somebody in front of us that's trying to stop us. But if we are one team, one heartbeat, if we move on all one accord, and we go through the struggles and overcome the struggles as one, I think we could do something special here. And it's one day, one game, one opportunity at a time, no matter how bad or how good it is, we're going to move as one. With, with all your passion and love for football, have you ever thought about getting into coaching? I, I was actually offered uh, an opportunity in San Fran. I turned it down. Um, I think something for me is – that speaking, that that energy, that you know, serving. I feel like I can be a football coach. Yeah. And yeah, I can serve a lot of players, but in so many ways, I feel like there's other ways I can serve them. And maybe it's not just coaching. I can serve them on mental fortitude. I can serve them on how to be, you know, okay with not being okay. I can serve them to understand that if you don't like your circumstance now, how hard are you going to work to change your circumstances for later. And it may not be me coaching, you know, especially when you get to the league and stuff like that. You got some guys who think they know it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then now, like, you know the culture. Like, it, it's, let's, let's all be honest. Like, and not yeah, it was a confusing time. It's like the wild, wild west. And it's, it's confusing for coaches. They still got to figure it out. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I talk to coaches. I, I, I have players that I play with who coach now. And it's like, it's, they still figuring it out. It, it, it is wild, wild west. And it's just like, 
I know what I'm capable of doing because I've seen it happen before. I've seen people you know, change their mindsets. I've seen people buy in. I've seen people have unwavering faith and focus on what they, they want they wanted. It's like, how do I give that to other people? Now, I'm a servant. I've always, always been that. I always told my mom I want to serve somebody, serve people anyway. One story, I mean, y'all here now. Uh, my mom used to work in a hospital, so I was like, man, that's how I'm going to serve. I'm going to become a surgeon. I'm gonna be she took me to the ER room one time, blood spurred on me, and I was like, yep, not this way. <laughs> so I had to figure out something else. And now I'm feeling like now I'm closer to my purpose. And honestly, everything I went to allowed me to be there, where it's just like, okay, I'm going to live through this purpose. I'm going to keep serving. I'm going to keep helping. I'm going to keep showing people that if you want more, you can't have more. Got time for one more question. question. It's one of the things that stand out most about your career and past your football career is persevering through the adversity. Like, like Trace mentioned, being an inspiration to so many people. You said you don't know why you're the inspiration, but why does it mean so much to you? Why, like, why keep going with the inspiration, motivational speaking, and to inspire people all around the world? Because I love it. I love it so much. And for me, is when I'm out there helping somebody else, I'm helping myself. I still go through life. Life be life, right? Now, I still go through it. So when I'm speaking to somebody and I'm, I'm so passionate about it because who I think I needed that, and and that's how I that's how I carry myself and like I I know I thrive in hard times, so I'm invited, come on with it and it's like when I overcome it let me go t I can tell my son about that, I can tell my mom about that and my mom's still getting inspired in so many ways I'm like my how, but in her way it, it, it is inspiring my my brother is just like no matter what you go through but you you do thrive and really hardships but that made me the person I am and that's me being able to inspire not just the people around me but like my, my brothers and he and, and in so many ways people get to the NFL can get complacent can get comfortable can get like oh I got it all and to continue to want to learn to grow and be a part in there's things that I've been doing I appreciate All right, it. Shaquem's got to go. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you, Shaquem. Congratulations. 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 Congrat